Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I organize my pantry. So this is what it looked like before. I was using old systems that were no longer functional for my family and I needed to update everything into a more functional, easier to use system. So the first thing I did was to clear everything out. It's really good to start with a clean slate when you are reorganizing. So I had a lot of bins, a lot of containers, and everything, although they were labeled, things were not being put back in the same spot. And it was becoming really chaotic and really messy. And as my girls were getting older, they were accessing things in the pantry more often. And it was also becoming harder for me to grocery shop because I didn't know what was missing and I didn't know what we had. So once I had everything taken out, I started to clean up. I had a ton of dust bunnies. I wish I'd used the vacuum cleaner in hindsight. And I used some disinfectant wipes to wipe down the baseboards. It was really grimy. I also pulled out the bins that were on the sides and the drawers and cleaned around those as well. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by and welcome to my channel. If you like home decor, organization, DIYs, and anything lifestyle and home related, stick around by clicking that subscribe button and click the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. So as you can see, a lot of stuff was everywhere. Pretty much everything was everywhere and it was a huge mess. But it was really nice to see what I was working with, which was four big shelves and then one smaller shelf that I had um, installed a little bit earlier so that I could put some appliances and other big items up there. So now it was time to cover my wire shelves. I decided to use a foam board and covered it with contact paper, marble contact paper. And I used that little tool to break the foam board and then was able to cut it with some scissors very easily. Although, if I was recommending this, I would say get your foam board cut ahead of time so that you don't have to de deal with the seams. If I had one big piece of foam board, it would have been much easier to just put the contact paper afterwards. Now it's time to get organized. So I'm starting off with these baskets from Walmart. They're in a rose gold finish. They had two different sizes. I'm using the larger size. And I thought it would be perfect for little packets of oatmeal and other packages that would fit in there perfectly. I also use the minute rice for my meal prep. I don't like leftovers, so I just kind of use those to have fresher food. I don't know, it tastes fresher to me. And they fit perfectly in there, so I had some for the brown and also for the white. I had some for the snacks, and this is what they look like in the pantry. Everything is visible. I know exactly what we have and exactly what will be missing when I have to go food shopping. Next, I use these scoop baskets. Those are also from Walmart.com. I will link everything in the description box that I'm using. And this one I use uh, at the very top shelf for all of our backup supplies. So everything that was not in a container that had extra boxes and I had extra, extra boxes of them, I put in these bins. And they were perfect for that. They were also perfect for like our protein shakes and our bigger items. Because as you can see, they're pretty large. I also like using them for these miscellaneous items where I'm not going to have a whole bin of croutons or a whole bin of honey. Just little miscellaneous items. It was perfect for that. And I added those on the very top shelf. I won't be accessing them every day. It was perfect there. 
then I had I got these other scoop baskets these are also from Walmart and they have these rose gold handles that you can flip over and they become stackable which is awesome my pantry doesn't have tall enough shelves to stack them but I really like how versatile these were so I can use them like if we move because we're military most likely we'll be moving again um, so if we move and we go somewhere that has different size shelves it will be very easy to adjust them so I thought this one will go great for all of my jar of sauces my canned tomatoes anything pasta related went in there I have some great recipes to make jar sauces taste like homemade. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. So these scoop baskets also had a smaller size and I thought it would be perfect for snacks and protein bars and also stackable. Because they're smaller, I'm gonna be stacking them in my pantry. I'm also gonna be putting them the long way and not like with the scoop facing me. So I decided to add our protein bars in there. And since we had a couple of flavors, I separated the flavors by adding the second basket and storing the different flavors at the top. And they're very easily accessible. All you have to do is just lift the basket and you will be able to get the one from below. So I didn't take out my cereals. I left them in the boxes because they were easier, but there are some that the kids are using. I did put those in containers. The next container I'm using is from Home Goods, and it is a clear container and I thought it would be perfect for our soups. This is a quarter, no, a quart size carton of soup. And I use a lot of soups because I'm still in my weight loss phase. So at night when I'm like really hungry, but then I don't want to have a meal, soups are perfect. And so I just thought this would be a great way to store them. And my brats are also being stored in these plastic containers. I like that they're see-through and that you can see everything. So next it was time for the cans. This is an expendable shelf that I used to use for my spices and I decided to use them for our canned canned tomatoes, canned tomato paste, and any items that would fit in there but doesn't necessarily need to go in a basket. So I just kind of stacked them according to size and I'll show you guys in the pantry. This is what I have them as. As you can see, I put the raw honey there, and then a couple of days later, not a couple of days later, when am I talking? A couple of days later, I filmed this, but um, I also found my daughter's chocolate in another bin, so I decided to put it there because it was easily accessible and it's just one of its kind. It doesn't need to be in its own bin. So it worked out perfectly. Again, nothing needs to be labeled. The item is its own label. So these containers are airtight and I decided to use those for my dry pastas. I got them off of Amazon. They came in a set with different sizes and they were stackable. So I use them for my dry pastas, you know, the rigatoni, the rotini, the um, spaghetti, those kinds of things. And I just grouped them together in a corner. And the smaller ones I use for our granolas and little things that I didn't need huge containers for. I was really happy that they had the larger containers for the spaghettis and things like that. So this is what the pantry looks like once I have everything in there. I did keep some of my old containers because they just happened to fit. I didn't want to replace every single one, but I think this is a great update for you know my pantry from where I was before everything is visible everything is accessible I know exactly what I have and if I have to go shopping I know exactly what I need so I absolutely just 
am so in love with this. This is so perfect for our family and it works so well. In the bottom, I have these drawers. I didn't organize them like too tidily because I'm still accessing stuff and adding stuff and removing things. It's just kind of like my junk drawer section. I have all these wrenches and tools because I keep getting furniture delivered. So, um, I have a lot of these tools. I have some markers that are just kind of laying around. So it's just like a, a drawer of knickknacks that I have there. And I will go back and reorganize it once all the schmoving is, is done. On the second drawer, I have the all the saran wrap, the sandwich bags, those kinds of plastic things. And at the very bottom, I still, it's just kind of another miscellaneous drawer. It has some, I have the ladder there, so I couldn't even open the drawer like a dum dum. Um, but I have some shelf liners, some clips, and some gloves, and some other things for the house. Again, these are probably gonna be reorganized. I just didn't feel the need to do it right this second because, like I said, I'm adding and removing stuff. The second set of drawers I added recently, and I decided to put the babies and my three year old stuff in there. So, their bottle nipples, bottle brushes, that kind of thing and some straws and then at the very bottom I put my husband's lunch box which he's not using right now because he's not even in the country so over here I put the extra shopping bags that we get and I have some extra baskets in case I need to use baskets to reorganize some stuff and then on this drawer I have not on this drawer, in this drawer, I have these baskets and it's all my light bulbs. I am replacing the lights in the house so I don't feel the need of getting this all super organized. I've just kind of been tossing things and getting stuff in and out. And the very top drawer is legit all junk. I think I just threw stuff in there. I didn't even try to make the bins fit and because I know I'm gonna go back to it. So it has some labels and some other things. So this is what the drawers look like on their inside. They will be getting an update later on. On the side, I did hang our um, aprons and I actually they were already there so I left them there. And that is it you guys. That's all I did for my pantry. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next from me in terms of organization or maybe cleaning video. I really enjoyed doing this and sharing this with you. It did take me quite a while to get this done because I don't have a lot of time and my days are all over the place, but I'm so happy it's done. I love going in there now. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media if you don't already do. And I'll thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.